about uh, halfway done here. Uh, looking pretty good so far. Um, do you want to just explain, what are these wedges, these wooden things in the uh, joints there? Basically what we have is, in order to space out correctly, if your mortar is too soft, it has a tendency to pull the joints together. So to keep the nice spacing, I put these wooden wedges in there temporarily to hold like this triangular one, to hold a decent joint on it. I probably, the one we're setting now, I probably will do the same thing. You notice that I'm putting my mortar in the back of the stone again. Mm -hmm. I have it against the wall. Then I went ahead, every stone that I lay, I put one wall tie in here. That's to help hold this to the wall. Okay. You also notice here we have some wooden wedges. These you can, this is set up enough so you can go ahead and you can take them out like this. Okay. Then take some of your dry mortar that you see here and then fill your joints properly. Okay. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Take it out and then go ahead and fill it. And that covers and the whole. I like to take the joints later on when they're drier and just rake them back a little bit. That brings out the stones and makes it look very nice. And we also, if there is smears, we sponge it a little bit. Too. Oh, absolutely. So, That's something that we most certainly will do. Uh, I'm ready to set this big one. I'm going to have Garrett, our capable grandson, uh -huh. do the tying of the wire because I have to hold this big piece in place. And he will have to come and assist me while I hold this piece. Garrett, take the wire over the top, come down, and what you want to do is you want to tie it right at the very top. You want to do it, Garrett, bring it to the top. Unfortunately, this is too short. Then bring it to the bottom and tie it off there. Yeah, make it nice and tight. There, there we go. Now hang on just a second. I gotta take my four foot level and I'll straight edge it now with the other stones. Make sure that we are straight there and this portion is also straight. So this here stone looks pretty good. We have our joints here. It held very good and we have the joints here. Do you think you'll need a wedge in that one? or No, I think uh, the mortar was stiff enough. If your mortar is stiff enough it will hold and separate this stone and you should come out with a decent joint. All right. So, now here you notice it's bigger. What I'll do is I find a small wedge and then put that in there. Now those wires, you just later, cut them out later after it's Later on, on, we take a cutter a day or two later and we'll cut it very tight inside there and cut it tight here. So no one can Same see thing. it. No. It'll be and it up. is thin enough wire. If you notice, it's a light gauge wire that I use. Not particularly thick, but it's certainly adequate to hold the stone in for the time being. All right, looking great. All right, and here we have the uh, finished product of the uh, flagstone wall inside a house. Everything's just about done, just a little bit more sponging and uh, wires, but that's basically how it works. We even put a little ledge in there. So if you uh, have a mind to, you can do it yourself.